you stand, and I'm going to require it down two by three and three by three multiplication. Objective. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to do two by three multiplication and three by three multiplication. Okay, here are some problems, example problems. 324 times 15 equals 4. 1,860. 980 times 324 equals 317,520. The problems may look challenging, but they really aren't. Let's try, let's try a few problems together. So, six, 673 times 22. 3 times 3 is 9, so you put the 9 here. 3 times 7 is 21, so you put the 1 here, 2 here. Because you can only put 1 here, and you have to put 20. That stands for 20. So then you do 3 times 6 equals 18 plus 2, because you carried that, equals 18, equals 18 plus 2 equals 20. And then 2, two times, oh, uh, I didn't put 0 here, because you went to another place value. And then you go, 2 times 3 equals 6, 2 times 7 equals 14, remember we put the 4 here, 1 up here. And then you do 2 times 6, no, yeah, 2 times 6 equals 12, plus 1 equals 13. So then you do, you've got 2,019 and 13,460. Then you do 0 plus 9 equals 9. 6 plus 1 equals 7, 4 plus 0 equals 4, and 2, two plus 3 equals 5, and, and just you put the 1 down here. So you get 15,479 is your answer. Then if you do the estimate check, you go, you put around 673 for the nearest 100, so you put 700, and then you round 20, the nearest 10, which is 20, so you do 70, 700 times 20. You do 0 times 0 equals 0, 0 times 0 equals 0, and 0 times 7 equals 0. And you put 0 here, because you want to do a different place value. And then 2 times 0 equals 0, 2 times 0 equals 0, 2 times 7 equals 14. You would put 14 at the very end, because there's no place for you to carry it. So 0 plus 0 equals 0, 0 plus 0 equals 0, 0 plus 0 equals 0, 0, and then you bring 4 down and you bring 1 down. So you get 14,000 is your answer. And then it's pretty close to that, so you know your problem is right. And then 893 times 72. I'm going to do 3 times 2 equals, 2 times 3 equals 6. 2 times 9 equals 18, put an 8 here, here is a 1, and 2 times 8 equals 16 plus 1 equals 17. So you go 176. Okay, what is, um, Justin, what is 7 times 3? 21! So you, where would you put the 1? You would put the 1 ahead of the first number. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And then what would you do with the two? You would put it above the other number. Above the nine. Okay, so you've got that. And then what's, Justin, what's next? Seven times nine. What does that equal? 63 plus two is 65. You put the five right there. Then you put the six above the eight. Seven times eight? Yeah, seven times eight equals fifty-six plus six is um sixty-two. Seventy. Yeah, so you do ninety times 
percent. So you do zero times zero equals zero, zero times zero equals zero, and zero times zero equals zero. And you do seven times zero equals, and you put zero here. Then you do zero times zero equals zero, seven times zero equals zero, and seven times nine equals sixty-two. You get zero, 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 sixty-three. So your answer is sixty-three thousand. It's close to um, sixty-four thousand two hundred ninety-six. So you know your problem's right. Now, is there a way you could have done that without having to actually solve 900 times 70? Is there a shortcut? Yeah, you could just do 9 times 7 equals 63 and then add three zeros. Excellent. And how did you guys know, Kyler, that you put the comma after the third zero? Um, because there, because it's in, because there's three zeros in. There's and the thousands played, so you always put a comma after the three zeros. Excellent job. Yes. Okay, guys, one more try. One more. Here we go. Okay, this one's gonna be a little harder because it's it's three by three, so it's gonna take a little longer. So you might want to write in smaller numbers for two by three. So first we'll start out five times four equals twenty. So you drop put the zero here and put the two here. Let's help him. Five times three is. 100th place. You have to put oh. two place values for the ones and the times. Wow. All right. Three times four. Three times four is twelve. Without actually solving it, what is 200 times 300? Alex, what is it? 2 times 3 is? 2 times 3 is 6, and you add the 4 zeros, and you get 60,000. Yep. 60,000! 60,000. So based on our estimate check, did we solve that problem correct? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, yeah. It's approximately. It's kind of close. Comparatively, relatively speaking, it's close. Yeah. Excellent job, you guys.